The bride spends so much time on the look of the wedding dress, the selection of what the gown is going to be. So tell me a little bit why you feel that the preservation of a wedding gown is so important. Well, it's all about the gown, and you're quite right. After they've spent so much time and so much money choosing just the right dress, it only makes sense to choose just the right care for the dress. The other thing is, I don't think a bride has ever been to me that didn't say, it was over so quickly. I wish it could have gone on forever. And we can't make the day last forever, but we can make the dress last a good long time. So it's a memory for a lifetime. It is indeed, and that's the trick, is to make sure the dress lasts a lifetime. Should they be considering the preservation of their dress during that planning process, or is it something that can wait until after the wedding is over? It's not one of the fun things. It isn't like picking out flowers or the cake or bridesmaids' dresses. I'm fond of saying that it's kind of like telling people they have to do dishes after dinner. I mean, it's, a, <laughs> it's one of the cleanup things. But they can do research before, but it doesn't have to be something that you worry about before the honeymoon. All right, how do we find, how do we tell uh, brides that are looking right now to do this process, where can they go? How can they find the proper people? Do they go to a, their local dry cleaner? It's better if you go to someone who specializes in it because the chances of the dry cleaner on the corner actually doing the work themselves are very slim. And I think brides should work directly with the person who's responsible for caring for the dress. As you know, I belong to the Association of Wedding Gown Specialists. And if you Google, you'll probably come across our site on the first page. And then if you go to our site, you can click on Find a Specialist Near You and the names of all of our members will come up. The other way you can find is in a lot of dresses, there are care labels that use our logo and our recommended method of care. When they're preserving the dress, educate us on what that really means besides just putting it away and keeping it closed for a lifetime. There are really three parts to preservation. The first one is cleaning it. Any kind of sugary stain, like white wine or ginger ale, cake, that gets onto the dress and dries clear is not going to come out if you just put it in the dry cleaning machine. You have to treat those stains properly with a chemical that contains water to dissolve the sugar. The second thing is putting it into a container that's appropriate and it needs to be completely acid free, not just pH neutral, but completely acid free and the paper too has to be that way. And the third thing is where you keep it, not in the attic where it gets too hot. Not in the basement because it's a law. If you have a flood, the water will find your dress in the basement. So someplace else, it likes to be like you, you know, warm in the winter and cool in the summer. <laughs> One dress I brought with me for you to see is 100 years old. And there is a fragment of the lace which we've not treated or cared for. But the other part of the dress we've restored to the color that it was, which was, of course, white and you can see the difference between the two looking at the fragment versus the dress itself. It shows you it's a very good example of what happens over a hundred years if you do nothing with your dress. Then I brought one that's only about 30 years old and that's again a dress that's never been cared for and so the dress has turned to quite a bright yellow and the train we've restored again gives you a good idea of what the color was originally. So cost, is this something that is of great cost? Is there a way to budget for this in the planning process of your wedding or is this something to be considered later on. It's a good idea to set aside some money and to think in terms of where you might take it. The cost of having a gown cleaned and preserved ranges all over the lot and it depends a lot on what city you're in. So I guess bottom line is pick your dress, spend the time in that dress for that special day, have the memories in photography, but more importantly consider preserving the dress because whether you want to give it to your daughter in the future, you at least have it to keep or however you choose to do so, keeping that memory alive is important. I think so. And it's a small insurance policy. Fantastic. Thank you so much. My pleasure.